So you like your 780 Ti, but feel that it can use a better cooler? Today we're going to show you how to swap out the reference design for an ACX cooler from EVGA. The first thing you'll want to do is get your Torx T6 screwdriver as it is necessary to remove most of the screws found on the bottom of the card. There are a total of 9 Torx screws on the right side of the card that you're going to want to take out first. Then on the left, you'll find a couple more accompanied by 4 Phillips screws securing the cooler to the GPU. The last screws that you'll need to remove are two more Phillips that are located on the rear I.O. bracket. These you can remove last. After you have the cooler removed, you can go ahead and discard the old thermal pads if you have new ones available. Now that you have the GTX 780 Ti in its spare PCB form, you can truly admire the complexity that goes into designing such a card. Before attaching the new cooler, you're going to want to use rubbing alcohol to remove the old thermal paste from the GPU. Applying new thermal paste will provide better temps as opposed to reusing the old paste. The first part to attach is the new front metal plate that is used to cool the VRAM and other components. Next, line up the screw holes and flip over the card while holding it in place. Make sure you put back every screw that you took out while disassembling the card. Now that you have the front plate installed, we can go ahead and apply the thermal paste on the GPU. You don't want to put a huge amount as that can actually hinder the performance. All you need is a pea-sized amount. Next, you'll want to grab the ACX cooler and line up the four GPU screw holes and attach the fan cable to the power connector on the board. The last thing you'll need to do is screw in the remaining four screws and the job is done. Now, you may be asking why you would want to swap out the reference design cooler. In simple terms, the ACX cooler allows the card to run quieter and cooler over longer periods of time. 